you go 12 rounds with a tiger who acquire the skills of Tiger Woods once you retire? Uh-huh. Would you? I win. <laughs> okay, so you will fight the tiger and then you will gain the skills of Tiger Woods. Yeah. Okay. Big fight this Saturday with Edgar Berlanga. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Between the two options, which would you rather do? Dinner with Peso Pluma for 20 million pesos or a holiday in the sun with Luis Miguel? Uh, 20 million. Who are your top five greatest Mexicans of all time? Julio Cesar Chavez, Tinito Lopez, Gilberto Roman, Eric Morales, Marco Antonio Barrera. I have the same exact list right here. Yeah? Yeah. Nah. So I have it right here, I'll show you after. Now, if you had to play a round of golf with anyone throughout the course of time, Tiger Woods. but uh. on the 18th hole, you have to knock them out. Uh, Tiger Woods. So you're comfortable with fighting him and knocking no, him out? No, because I like to play with him 18th holes. Maybe I just skip and knock him out, but I already played with him. Okay, so. yeah. <laughs> Whatever happens after that happens. Yeah. Since I'm working on my Spanish and you're getting really good at English, let's do a curse off. You have to curse in English, I have to curse in Spanish. Dumb bitch. Puta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you motherfucker. Puta madre. Uh -huh. uh, fucking asshole. Cabron. That's <laughs> bad. <laughs> no mas? No mas. No mas, so I win that one. Dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Your English is so good, you're basically an honorary American. Now, I have a question for you. Can you tell me if the following person is an American president or an actor portraying a president in a movie? First up, que piensas? He's an actor, but looks like a president. All white guys look very similar, correct? Yeah, president. Which one? I don't know. It doesn't matter, I mean, yeah. genius answer. Uh, he's an actor. You watch The West Wing? Yeah, I, I watch a couple, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he's, he's a president. You are acing this test right now. Uh, an actor, one of my favorites. And lastly? Uh, he's an actor, he, he made a movie about the White House. Correct, impressive stuff. You basically are an honorary American at this point. All right, if you and Checo switch sports, who would have more success? I'm, I'm better, yeah. What would happen first? Checo knocking you out, or you racing around a lap faster than Checo? Yeah, I'm racing fast. Yeah, you could get him? Yeah. Would take you a lot of tries though, no? Yeah. You ever been in an F1 car? Yeah, one time. I drive good. You could drive better than me? I think so, yeah. Mm, interesting, okay. Would you rather give up your Smurf Blue Bugatti or only be able to watch the Smurfs for the rest of your life? Mm, be able to watch the Smurfs. That car means a lot to you? Yeah. What was the first car you ever owned? Uh, Nissan. Which car would you rather arrive to the fight in? The Volvo uh -huh. or the PT Cruiser? The PT. Why is that? Well, it's better, but it's better. Okay. I heard you're a sweetheart out of the ring. What's the most romantic thing you've ever done? I dedicate her a uh, song, and then I bring the, the artist. Oh, which artist? Um, one of Mexican artists. Yeah. Very romantic. If you had to fight Jake Paul on limited rounds, but after every round, Jake Paul gets all of his energy back, how long would it take for him to beat you? His whole life. <laughs> You would never get tired against Jake Paul? Uh, no. You respect him at all? I respect everybody. So that was a soft no? <laughs> no, I respect everybody, you know. Uh, he's doing his thing and he's fine. Now, since you become such an elite trash talker. I don't like to talk trash. You don't? Just if I need it. So I have some lines for you. On a scale of one to 10, how willing would you be to use these in your next press conference? I don't smoke. I smoke clowns like you in the boxing ring. 10. 10, it's yeah. a good message as well. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Fuck out of here. Mm, Dan. Dan. You know Carmelo Anthony? No. Yeah, yeah. That's his signature phrase. Okay. I got it. Fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. <laughs> you reach, I teach. Mm, five. Who do you think you are? I am. Four. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words could never hurt me. Six. Six, so it's better than you reach, I teach. Another wholesome one. Okay. Would you rather fight Mike Tyson on mushrooms? You're on mushrooms. Or would you rather fight my grandmother? I don't know what to say. Mike Tyson or my grandmother? Who would you rather fight? Mike Tyson. Thank you, appreciate that. Yeah. Could you kill me in less than 10 seconds? Could be. Yes or no? Yes. One, two. No, no, okay. yeah, you're right now. Yeah. Very Absolutely. well, probably. <laughs> the first time you knock someone out, you were 14 years old, correct? 13, yeah. 13. Is there a 13 year old alive today that can knock you out? No. Someone wouldn't have believed you could do that to someone else? Yeah, it gets different. Okay. 
you're a very successful businessman, you're getting into new ventures all the time. I have some businesses that I'd like to pitch to you. What if you had someone that went to the houses to ensure there were no ghosts in the home before you bought it? <laughs> That's... What about one out of 10? How, how would you invest in that on a one to 10 scale? With the ghost, no. <laughs> you're not interested in this, no. okay. All right, a moving company, when you're moving from house to house, instead of hiring labor, they convince people it's a workout. Mm -hmm. So it's a workout class. You don't need to pay any labor and you're making money at the same time. No entendí. It's okay, it's so stupid. I don't okay. understand that. Okay. I agree with that, what you say. Thank it's you. So stupid. What about a supercar that also is a sauna. When you're driving to your weigh-in, you can continue cutting weight as you the go. The worst being the worst. Should I start thinking of yeah, new ideas? Yeah, yeah. That's not a good one? Okay. That's not a good one. Okay. Believe you're going to like this one though. This is an untapped market for you. Canelo's cereal. Cereal. It's cereal. Been, always with Canelo there is going to be a business. Canelo. Yeah, Canelo. Canelo, yeah, that's big time. I like that a lot. If you want to stay somewhere that's not a hotel, mm -hmm. people could list their homes and you could rent other people's homes. What happened with uh, Airbnb? Oh, uh, this is far more advanced than that. Okay. This is much more, much more progressive. What about if you don't want to call a taxi, but the taxi can come to you, like on a phone? The idea is already there. By who? By Uber. Uh, I guess you could say so, but I guess, I guess, okay. How did you react when Zach Arific, he's a big social media influencer, said you were the only person he'd be afraid to step in the ring with? He or me? He'd be afraid of you. Like he's a smart. He's a smart man, right? Yeah, he's a smart man. How does it feel to be recognized by someone at the top of their game like that? I, I like it, I feel proud about it because he knows I'm the best. Would you like him to come up to, a, uh, to pull up to a match? Yeah, why not? You want to invite him? Zach Arific. Whatever. All right, thank you so much, Canelo. Appreciate it. Thank you. Out of fun. Thank you.